Yo guys, before I start today's video off, I'd just like to talk a little bit about Streamlabs. Uh, now Streamlabs is a multi-cross um, stream platform that will basically allow your channel to grow 10 times faster. Uh, now if you actually click the link in the description down below, you'll actually get 70% off of this and um, basically just check it out for yourself if you want, want to. But um, Streamlabs actually offers a design your own stream, stream overlays, alert box themes, alert box sounds, logo maker, multi-stream, custom tip page tips and a mobile app. It also has the App Store merch, cloud bot, charity, uh, sponsors and then a, a couple of the other apps followed around of this you will get included in the um, premium pack. So it's, a, it's worth checking out and like I say you get 70% off if you do use my code or my link that's in the description down below. But in my opinion it's really worth it as your channel will grow literally 10 times faster. Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I've actually got an exciting news to actually show you guys. Um, today I'm actually going to be going through the new actual like free DLC we are going to be receiving later this year, um, which Arc Survival Evolved or Wildcard has uh, officially announced around 7 hours ago. Obviously I was asleep, so that's obviously why this um, video is obviously so late or delayed. Um, but yeah, so as you can see in the corner right there, this new DLC will actually be called Lost Island. Uh, and as you can see, it's, you can, you've can you got like, a temple in the background and stuff. Uh, now, coming with this DLC, it's also going to be three new teams as well, what you, what you obviously can team. Uh, and this is another picture of what we've actually um, received uh, from this map. And we've received, I think, around five pictures so far of what this map is going to look like. And um, to me, it just looks like a normal island, which we uh, obviously the first ever map uh, which we ever saw. It just looks like the original island to me. Obviously just a little bit different. Um, but as you can see here, explore new heights and hidden depths in this expansive 150 uh, square kilometre map where survivors will encounter new biomes, challenges and mysterious ruins. Whether it's exploring the valley of waterfalls, setting up your treehouse home in the redwood forest, getting down and dirty in the vast swamps, diving deep underwater, climbing snow mountains or caving. Uh, there's something for every survivor out there. Arriving with the map will be three brand new real world creatures including the, I don't know how to say that, but yeah and uh, one chosen tamed by arc um now as you can see this is another picture as well what we, ha we have received um but i'm not actually too sure how big the uh, other maps are compared to this as you can see they did say it was 150 square uh, kilometer um so it might be one of the biggest maps i'm not too sure so don't count me on that and this is another picture we do actually have here and that's the last picture uh, now next up this is actually one of the teams they've actually leaked or uh, showing us that we will actually be getting with this DLC and that is that Amargus uh, thing whatever I couldn't say a minute ago and um, but yeah and uh, now the actual power or ability for this team is as you can see on the back It's actually got them spines uh, and it actually does shred them spines on the back of the uh, team uh, Now I'll actually pull a description up of this team in a couple of more seconds um, But there's one thing I actually would like to go through at the moment is um, they did actually say that the spines if removed early It does affect this team with the thermal ability or something like that uh, so, to me, that sounds like there's actually going to be a new feature added with this team, uh, where you have the choice to obviously shred the spines um, early or not. As you can see at the very bottom there, it says, once finally tamed, it's no surprise that whatever the team is, uh, spines are its best feature. If removed early, their thermal storage becomes erratic, uh, which is perfect for, as you can see, something at the bottom there. Uh, but anyway, so as you can see, this is what my whole point was about. Uh, um, so I think there's also going to have to be a purpose for these spines as well, um, if you can also remove them at any point. And as you can see right there, it says, which is perfect for catalyzing sap development in many trees. Uh, also at the bottom there, it says, some tribes, of course, adapted this thermal quirk for combat by having uh, eject a spine before it shreds naturally. The freezing slash warming waves that emanate from the spike play havoc uh, with armor in the area. Interestingly, uh, simple armor is barely affected while more complex armour is more heavily affected. So as you can see there where it says um, eject a spine, in my opinion I think this will be a bit more, uh, a bit like the uh, Valenos, as you, can, uh, as you know they shoot like the spines in like a turret mode. Uh, now this one says uh, shoot a spine before it shreds naturally. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this team actually works and what actually they add into the game uh, when this has actually come out. Uh, which... Obviously, we've not even got a release date just yet. It's later this year, though, so it's not too long away, and it's not too far, hopefully. Uh, now, obviously, don't obviously get your uh, hopes up with that. Um, as you do know, it is wildcard, and it is Arc Survival Evolved. It will more than likely be delayed multiple times before it actually does release. Um, so, obviously, just don't get your hopes up too much that it will be coming out this year, but hopefully it does. Uh, and now, this will also be a free DLC for all platforms as well. 
Now, to me, this feels like uh, Wildcard is trying to redeem themselves after Genesis Part 2. That did kind of flop really badly. Now, I know a lot of you guys did actually really like that map, but a lot of like the PvP players really dislike that map. So, I think this will be like a redeemed map, and obviously they're trying to get more players back into the game after Genesis Part 2. And um, this will more than likely be more of like a PvP map um, if they are trying to redeem themselves from Genesis Part 2. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see anyway how this map does play out and all the features and new teams and items they do bring along with it. And obviously if you do want to subscribe to keep updated along with this uh, journey for obviously the new map which is Lost Islands to be released. Uh, and also just pre press that subscribe button and the notification bell uh, and I'll also update you along the way uh, when I do actually get more information on this. But thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.